So let's see if you understand enough math to figure out the answer to this question without using a calculator. So what we have here is a power. So just a quick review of power. So if I have like two to the third power, this little three up here is called an exponent. This two down here is called the base. The entire thing is a power. So two to the third power means take two and multiply it by itself three times. So of course the answer here is eight. But we're trying to figure out the answer to this power and the base here is one fourth and the exponent is three halves. Well, the good news is that in fact, you can figure this out without using a calculator. And if you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct solution in just one second. And of course, I'm gonna fully explain how to evaluate this power without the use of a calculator. But before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help in math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time, we have one fourth. This is our base. As a matter of fact, this is like the same thing as this two right here. And the exponent is three halves. So what is this entire thing equal to? Well, the correct answer here is one eighth. Now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A plus. And if you're like, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I don't even know how to do this in my calculator. Well, I'm gonna explain everything right now. So here is our problem. And uh, again, no calculator. So we might be kind of sad about that. All right, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I wanna use my calculator. Well, we are gonna use uh, a calculator, just not a electronic calculator. You're gonna use this uh, thing up here, this supercomputer. That's way better than any artificial intelligence. So we have a power, right? So this part of the power is a base. This is an exponent. And what we need to understand is some basic uh, properties of uh, powers and exponents. So let me go ahead and run through a few uh, right now and then we'll kind of um, you know, build some momentum to figure this thing out. So what if I had uh, two squared uh, to the third power? Okay, now even if you uh, don't know these properties of uh, powers and exponents, what do you think we should do here? So we have two squared to the third power. Do you think the answer is two to the fifth? Maybe we should add these, or maybe we should multiply two to the sixth. What do you think is correct? Well, let's uh, go ahead and just figure this out. And even if we never learn this, we could still get the right answer. So two squared cubed means what? Well, we're going to take two squared and we're going to multiply two squared by itself three times. So that's going to be two squared times two squared times two squared. So this is going to be what? Well, this is two times two, two times two, and the two times two. So we have two to the six. So the correct answer is two to the six. So if we come back over here and we look at this uh, problem, uh, the correct thing to do was to multiply the outside exponent to the inside exponent. So two squared to the third power is equal to two to the sixth. That's an illustration of a property of powers and exponents. And this is typically stuff that you learn in, uh, uh, generally speaking, like a pre-algebra course, certainly an algebra one course. But even if you didn't know uh, these properties, you could still reason through with some just logic to kind of uh, reverse engineer and see these properties and actions. But I'm not gonna cover all of them. Uh, we'll obviously use the ones that we need for this particular problem. But uh, this chapter in most math courses, well, it's actually like a full chapter or multiple sections. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the full solution right now. So here is our problem. We have one fourth to the three halves power. Okay, so we have an, an exponent uh, to this power right here. So how can we work with this? Well, an excellent strategy is to kind of write this fraction in such a way that we have a power in and of itself. So we're gonna take one fourth and we're going to write it as a power. So how can we do that? Well, some of you might recognize four as two squared. So I can literally write, write excuse me, one fourth as one over two squared. So let's go ahead and do that. So instead of one fourth, We'll write that as one over two squared. All right, so we have one over two squared, all of this to the three halves power. 
well, this is still kind of confusing because we have this fraction here. Is there any way we can get rid of this fraction? Indeed, there is. We can write this in, in, a, uh, in a way where we don't have a numerator or denominator, okay? And I'm going to show you that right now. All right, so this is a, a big, big part of uh, figuring this uh, problem out. So what we can do is when we have a fraction with a power, okay, we can take this power and put it on the other side of the fraction. So right now we have 2 squared in the denominator. I could put 2 squared in the numerator. The only thing I need to do is change the sign from positive to negative. And this is a huge uh, property of powers and exponents. And let me give you another example here. So if I have 2 to the negative 3, that's equal to 1 over 2 cubed. See, 2 to the negative 3 power is over 1. So the rule or the property is when you have a power, if you put it on the opposite side of a fraction bar, the sign of the exponent changes. So it either goes from negative to positive or positive to negative. So here I have this fraction. I have this 2 squared in the denominator. I'm like, you know what? I would love to just move it up in the numerator. Well, you can, but you're going to have to go from positive to negative. So let's do that. So we end up with 2 to the negative 2 over 1, but that's just nothing more than 2 to the negative 2 power. All right, so effectively we got rid of the fraction and now we have two to the negative two power to the three halves. So remember, we've just uh, figured out uh, by using this simple example, two squared to the third power, that we multiply the outside exponent to the inside exponent, okay? So here we have an outside exponent and an inside exponent. So we're gonna do the exact same thing. So three halves times negative two is negative three. Now, for those of you that are a little bit rusty on your fraction multiplication, what's going on here is what? Well, that's negative 2 over 1 times 3 over 2. The 2s cross cancel, and now I have negative this negative 1 or negative times 3 or negative 3. All right, so all of this work got us down to 2 to the negative 3 power. We are almost done. So I hope you're learning something from this video. And if that's the case, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. This really does help me out on YouTube. Now, if you need additional help in math, make sure to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. So let's go ahead and get back to the problem. All right, so remember we got to two to the negative two and we have the three halves power and we already kind of determined or we figured out this property of exponent that an outside exponent times the inside exponent, uh, we have to multiply. So this is equal to two to the negative three power. But remember, we just had this property of uh, writing um, or changing um, a, uh, a power by putting on the opposite side of um, a fraction bar by changing the sign. Okay, I kind of stumbled on that for a second, but like two to the third is equal to one over two to the negative three. So two to the negative three is the same thing as two to the negative three over one, if we want to think of it that way. And let's get rid of this negative right now. And the way we can do that is to think of this as a fraction over one. Now we'll put this thing down in the denominator. And when we do that, it's going to go from negative to positive. So two to the negative third power is equal to one over two to the third power. And this we understand as two times two times two, which of course is eight. So we now we have uh, the fraction one eighth. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.